Alright, boys, we got this old Degas 2 out here with the 11 inch cord. I'm going to show you some here. And folks may find this very interesting. We're going to look at a little model frequency action and we're going to look at the fast and the deep hack conductor. They're all set to silencer 2. I've got the sensitivity on the deep hack conductor dialed down to 90. Okay. And I'll verify this mono program is running at 95. The fast program is running at 90. I'll leave it there. Okay. This is interesting here what you're going to see in this video. Okay. First we're going to show you what I've got here. A little, see that little bitty piece of iron right there? Now this is not the same one I showed the other day. Now, it's laying as such. From this direction here, no detection. On that, there's a dime. You can see the edge of it sticking out down there. I'm about five and a half inches over that dime with that nail there. So from this direction here, no detection with this detector, okay? Iron tone is off. Okay, watch what happens here. Now, reactivity is at two in all of these programs. I'll verify that. That is correct. All right, now watch what happens here. This is the fast program. Three tones in all with a 72 tone break for the highest tone and the highest tone dial to highest pitch. Okay, listen to this fast program here. You hear that? Okay, that's a pretty fast sweep right there. Alright, you get an 88 in the meter there even. 89. Okay, that's a clad dime down. And I'm going to come across this slow in the fast program. Watch that coil right there. Hear that? Look at that. Even with a slow, sweet, two-way signal. Now we're going to the deep high conductor program. Okay. Faster sweet. Got a 91 in the meter. Two-way signal. Now I'm going to come across that slow with this call. Listen. Hear that? Nice and slow, and I still get that good two-way signal. Now we're over here in the old mono program. And I'm going to... A lot of people thought 15 kilohertz was a real good setup. Well, here's 15.1 kilohertz, okay? A fast sweep. Notice you do get two-way signal, but watch this. Slow sweep. See that? All right. Now I'll toggle back to deep high conductor. Let the auto scan get done. No tricks in this video. Slow sweep deep high conductor. Watch. Slow sweep. Fast program. Slow sweep. Auto scan's getting done. Okay, now we're going back to mono program. I've got auto scan on. Let's we'll see where this thing stops. Alright, it stopped at 15.1 kilohertz. Slow sweep. You see that? You hear that? A little one way, little one way hit every now and then. Alright, let's uh, Let's see where we wind up here. Seven, that's eight kilohertz. She's locked on eight kilohertz with an auto scan. Let's try the fast sweep. Okay, that sounds good. A slow sweep in eight kilohertz. That's not too bad there, huh? Let's go down to the lowest band here and take a quick peek. 4.4 .4 kilohertz with a fast sweep. Okay, that sounds good. Slow sweep. Okay, that sounds good. Let's go up into frequency here. Let's look at... 
Here's 13, 13.07 kilohertz on a fast sweep. We do get signal. What about a slow sweep? Mmm. Little one way chop signal there. You notice that? Okay. We'll go up a little higher here. Let's just look at 25 kilohertz. Let's see where this thing, 25.9 kilohertz on a fast sweep. Nothing. How about that? Slow sweep? Huh, nothing. That's 25 kilohertz. We'll go up again here just to double check this thing here. That's 30.3 kilohertz. Look at that. Nothing. Slow sweep. Okay. Let's go back over here to this deep high conductor with a slow sweep. We'll let auto scan get done. Okay. Ultra slow sweep, two-way signal on that baby there. You see that? So there's another advantage of multi-frequency. Now I'm going go back over here to the old uh, mono program. Let's see where I can get to here. Thirteen point eight eight kilohertz. Fast sweep. So I'm getting signal with a fast sweep, but what about a slow sweep? So I get that one way hit coming from the right. You see that? We'll go back to the old fast program. Let the auto skin get done. Good two-way signals fast. What about a slow sweep? Hmm, how about that? Yeah, I don't know who thinks this multi frequency don't have some advantage. But it sure does. And it's sort of interesting, the higher frequency on this detector, you know. Matter of fact, before I turn this camera off, let me go back over here to mono program. Okay, we're going to let her sit down here, see where she stops. 25.9 kilohertz. Okay. 25.9 kilohertz. No signal. No signal on that dime that I can hear. Okay. I'm going to remove that little piece of iron right there. See that right there? Got it in my fingers here. Now, I haven't done anything with this detector. It's still on 25.9. Let's see what we get here. Let me get this call straight. Hmm, how about that? You see that? There's that little piece of iron there. See that right there? I mean, that's small. Cylindrical. Okay. So the old HF, uh, the HF round call, I didn't try this with that 9 inch call, but higher frequencies there, you know, you could miss that dime right there. How about that? You wouldn't even get a peep on it. I hope you enjoyed.